Oh no. Okay, so let's continue where we left off. I have no idea how close we are to the ending. Holy hell. What were we doing again? Right, uh, cats. Alley cat. Right? Alley cat. Welcome to Stardust. Wasn't that car on the other side? Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, hey there, big guy. I forgot where we left off, so let's just talk. Sorry, I don't think we've met before. I'm Gus. Hey, Gus. You have a really cool wrong. How's Stardust treating you? Not bad. That's good. But we can do better than not bad. Let me know how we can help. Okay. Majid may not have a memory for mixed drinks, but he loves listening to his patrons' problems. Going out... Going out your boss? Okay. You'll have to let me or him know if you need any help. We try to run a tight ship around here. Okay. Uh, what do you mind telling me about yourself? Oh, there isn't much to tell, really. I came to Neo SF from Arizona to finally live somewhere more thrilling. Okay. Majid needed someone good with numbers to handle back of the house sort of stuff. So here I am. Okay. I didn't grow up in big cities like this, and I always loved listening to Majid's stories from the bay. Everything is just so exciting. That's kind of gay. Uh, do you know anything about, uh, Weber? Oh, you're who Majid mentioned before, huh? Yep. Oh, no, sorry. I've met him since he's a regular, but I've been out and about on business. I haven't seen him in weeks. I wish I could help more. Okay. Uh, I'll let you know if I need anything else. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this, but don't feel bad if you need to interrupt me for something. Okay. Uh, thanks, Gus. Sure thing. Enjoy the bar. Oh yeah, by the way, real quickly, I uh, just want to make sure because I ran to this issue before. Can y'all hear me? Uh... Wait, what? What's that? Audio is good. Okay, just making sure. I don't know, there was that one time. Okay. Hey, Maj Majid. Majid. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? Uh, just getting some time. Yeah? It's a little slow tonight. Things pick up and I get pulled away. You should chat with my boyfriend, Gus. Oh shit, you two are gay. Okay, uh, why haven't I seen Gus before? He's been running around all over Neo SF looking for new acts since he handles our talent. I think he missed being behind the counter. Okay. He does get a bit overwhelmed by the hustle and bustle, but he could run this bar with one hand tied behind his back if he wanted. <laughs> okay. So you attend the bar without knowing all the drinks? Yeah, yeah your boyfriend called you. Ram is for. I'm a people person, and that's what matters, right? I can just look up all that other stuff. Yeah, your boyfriend called you off. Okay. Sure thing. Don't be a stranger. Right. Hey! If I remember correctly, we failed, right? Walter White. Haven't I seen you at my tattoo parlor before? I don't think so. What's up? How goes the search? Bad. Not great, hands. Yeah. Shit. I really can't say I saw that one coming. Yeah. I figured that they'd nab anything they needed the first time I hit the place. Yeah, me too. Huh. Any ideas who it could have been? The walls had been spray painted with many grotesque human revolution slogans. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Give me a sec. I don't know why, there was like a lot of accidents today, and I don't know, my window's just been blaring lately. Sorry. It is possible that Hayden was targeted by the organization for his work at Parallax. But at the same time, it does seem a little odd that they would tag afterwards, instead of right away. my development may have been a secret, he is rather well known for his work on virtual intelligence data. Yeah. A layman would 
understand the critical differences between myself and a VI. Nor do I think the average human revolution member would care to make the distinction. Yeah, they're kind of dumbasses. Equally likely, it is an effort to throw us off the trail of who's actually done this. Yeah, either way we're gonna go check out the protests. Much to my dismay, at least getting knocked out gave us the lead. Hey, look at the positives. Hey, you know, I almost died, but hey, I now got a new lease for life, am I right? Uh, yeah, we talked to Yannick uh, Fairlight. He offered to introduce us to someone in uh, Human Revolution. It's apparently the leader, if I remember correctly. Right. Dr. Fairlight was very kind to point us in the direction of the Human Revolution protest leader. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to the bottom of this after interviewing him. Yeah. Yannick Fairlight? Uh, when'd you run into him? You okay, Tomcat? Oh, um, we were ambushed at the apartment and got hit with some kind of neural stunner. What? Are y'all okay? Eh, yeah, we're PG. Yes, we made it to the nearby hospital and Dr. Fairlight happened to be occupying the same room we were placed in. Eh, uh, you know, we might uh, pass out later, but right now, let's uh, just deal with this. We had a discussion with him about Aiden's situation, then came here. Yeah, yeah, he would just so happen to be there. It is all so fucking staged, holy hell. Eh, uh, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, shit. Things sure are getting more serious than I first thought. Okay. Y'all need to keep a sharp eye out. Being attacked means the bastards know you're looking now. Yeah, that's fair. I'm confident in our ability to push on. Oh yeah, by the way, Tomcat, you seem to react. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Fairlight? Hmm. I can't say no much about the man. You sure? Fairlight always was a bit of a shut-in. Even back when he ran System 1, his old company. He didn't make any more public appearances after the merger between them and Parallax, but he was still working with him for six or so years past that. Right. Nowadays, he shows up in the news once in a blue moon for some charity thing or another. Okay. But, well, it's, it's all just rumor, but I've heard he holds a grudge about it hotter than the Clantons after the Earps. Motive! Okay, I'm just saying it's totally him, okay? No one can convince me otherwise. I'd take care to look this particular horse in the mouth real close if I was you. Aren't you not supposed to look a gift horse in the mouth? Mouth. Fair enough, we'll be careful of him. Good. Now to lighten the mood. Okay. While y'all were chasing your tails, I managed to find a way into the Parallax Network. Once I'm in, I should be able to dig out Hayden's personal info file easily enough, including anything related to him on all security clearance levels. If Parallax is anything on Hayden's situation, it'll be in there. Oh! Fantastic, Tomcat. I knew Hayden's faith in you was not misplaced. How long do you think it will take you? Well, that's where the rubber meets the road. Oh, no. Parallax actually has considerably better net security than the last time I cracked in. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I'm gonna need physical access. Physical. I've got a good idea where a node for us to slice into is, but it ain't exactly in a nice part of town. Oh. In fact, police have basically wrote it off as a lost cause. <laughs> Not enough profit in it. Oh. I know Jess has some contacts in that area. Okay. She's that girl that chewed you a new rear when y'all first came here. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's a tough sale, but she might be able to help y'all get in and out of that part of the city without ending up in a parts bin at an organ shop shop. A parts bin in a what now? Why did Jess have contacts in that part of the town? You might not be able to tell, considering her fibrous tongue and penchant for hitting the clubs harder than she's got any right to, but Jess is actually an attorney. Wait, what? Oh, cool. She specializes in defending people in violation of the Human Protection Act, and does almost all of her work pro bono. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's earned her a whole gaggle of pals amongst the hybrid community around here, as you might imagine. Yeah. Ain't no one gonna
get across her in that part of town. Black market hybridization ain't exactly HPA compliant, if you catch my drift. And none of them ever know when they might need her to defend them in court. Right? Uh, profit. Uh, yeah, why is it? Hey, we ain't got it that bad. I mean, at least our police force owns its own self. Eh, that's a right babel. down in San Jose, the richer neighborhoods have actually started hiring the gangs to protect their places. <laughs> When Probably. even the rich folks can't get good police work, it's a sad state for everyone else. Yeah. And the less said about L.A., the better. What happened in L.A.? You know, what didn't happen in L.A.? But I guess I'll go grovel until she agrees to help. That's a spirit. Thanks, Tom. I need a little time to get all my tools together to slice into Parallax's network, but y'all keep me updated. Okay. Maybe y'all get lucky and find that data cache too. Okay. But I'm not like. gonna count on it. We might find Jess it. This is still hanging around here at Stardust, but I saw her head over to the VIP room. Okay. It's hybrid night, and she's a popular gal. <laughs> Just please remember to play nice, or her friends will thump you something fierce. Oh. Uh, oh shit, give me a sec, sorry. Okay, so be nice to Jess or else and we're gonna get killed. I'll Got it. send Jess a message letting her know that y'all are looking for some assistance and we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, we'll be in touch. Sure thing, huh? I've gotta head on out of here and get started on setting up a run. Okay. Just have turn, let me know when y'all are ready. Okay. Oh, I see Jess over there behind some ropes. Let's go over and say hi to her. Okay. Hey! Oh, hell no. Yeah. I know that feeling a little too well. Look, I'm really trying to have a good time today, and the Human Revolution crud muffins have made that very hard for me. And your interrogation this morning took a bad day to worse. I wasn't mean to enough. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. I asked around about you, Juno, and I don't have anything to say to you. The last thing I need is you prodding at me without telling me your press. I'm not even legal press. I mean, wait, no, that's actually worse. I'm not even the good press. Besides, the VIP section is only for hybrids and friends on hybrid night, and no way am I vouching for you. Okay. Hey, bouncer. We got a capital A asshole over here. Okay, listen, if you give me, give me five seconds, I can tell you what it is. Let's go. Oh, no. Ow. No oh, rude. She didn't even give us a chance to explain ourselves. I mean, she's just mad. We have to get back in there and try to be reasonable. I sure, guess. We'll see the importance of our task once we've explained everything. Turing, you're very innocent, so I'll let it slide, but there's a good chance that she won't. But that bouncer probably won't let us back in. Yep. Perhaps we should try befriending someone nearby and convince them to vouch for us? You want me to it's flirt? It's a statistical long shot, but the worst case scenario shouldn't leave an excessive amount of physical damage. Hopefully. Ah, eh, fine, but... Oh, hey, there's two options. Sater guy and... The fuck is that? Are those horns? What are those? Okay. Whatever. Look at... Distracted per patron? A tired person that appears to be lost in thought. Okay. What's up? Oh, hi. Sorry, I don't really feel like talking. It's been a long day. Maybe after I have a few drinks of me? Maybe I'll get something fruity. Okay. Oh, I get it. That's why I need my jet. My heat. Okay. Look at distant person. A lone hybrid with horns coming from their head. Sorry, cutie. Not quite ready to play the room yet. Gonna try to get another drink into me first. Maybe I'll get something a bit bitter? Come hit me up later. 
What happens if I get both of them their drinks? Why not? Okay. She wants fruity, he wants better. Let's do this. Hey, my G. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? Need a drink. No. That's here, can you? Sorry, it's being rented out for a private party tonight. Hybrid night. I try not to judge, but I don't think this is your crowd. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a drink, please. What are you having? Uh, something fruity. Wait, no, let's get something better for the stag motherfucker. Uh... What would be better? What are these drinks? Bro, I should probably confess, I don't drink, so I have no idea what the hell I'm even looking at. I mean, I can drink if I want to, but the problem is, I like, uh... Well, whiskey is better, right? Uh, let me look up how to make that. Okay. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says... Oh, <laughs> I got this, sweetie. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm just holding up the bar rather than running it. Yeah. <laughs> Turing, you are useless here. Fuck off. No, I just memorized all the drinks. You're better with the customers. Ah, uh, they're actually very cute together. This one is... Mix one part bourbon, one part lime juice, one part a mix of water, a raw of... I give, then shake with ice and strain into a tumbler. A sour and tangy drink with a little whiskey kick. No, that's sour. Rawr. Thank you, hun. Please don't fuck in front of me. <laughs> uh, maybe something else. We need like something what? better. I thought whiskey was better. Beer? Uh, let me look up how to make that. I don't. Well, I mean, do you really want them to say every single line for five hours? The open alcoholopedia You're cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Turing! This one is... A tumbler of vodka, one part orange liquor, one teaspoon of lingonberry, berry, and one small splash of cranberry shaken. What is li lingon berry? Tastes like a sweet and bold Cosmo, without the ci citrus part for... Cold weather, a personal favorite. Okay. Thanks, son. Uh, maybe something else. Like what? First things first. Let's try. My goal is if I have two people with me vouching for me, there's no way Jess could kick me out, right? So that's my plan. I'm pretty sure you only need one. Uh, what's better? What's better? Uh, Groggy Nog? That sounds better. Uh, let me look up how to make that. Lingonberry is a thing in Ikea. It is? Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia <laughs> oh, <you laughs> this, sweetie. Is it just me or is it cutting him off faster and faster? This one is... Groggy Nog is eggnog with a bit, a lot of bits and brandy inside. Tis the season, lots of us needed to get through this holiday. Thank you, hun. It doesn't sound better, though. Maybe something else. Like what? I need something better. Maybe it's in the name? Well, I mean, that's spicy. Wiener juice! Remind me, what's in that? Drink Chanel, <laughs> the open alcoholic. Turing! I got this, sweetie. <laughs> this one is... A tumbler with ice for... Uh, blah, 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 with the whipped cream. Yep, for real. It's delicious. Thanks, honey bear. Aw, oh, that's cute. Um, maybe something... I need something My bitter God. for the satyr guy. Spicy gentleman? Modest Connie? What? Are these drinks even real? Scotch drop and roll? That sounds bitter. So Beer's bitter. Everything I drink is bitter. Drinkionary, the open Liquor just tastes... Says... Oh, I got this, sweetie. 
<laughs> Turing, just give up. Uh, half Irish cream, half butterscotch snaps with a uh, hard rub, blah blah blah, and then it goes down smooth. It's also, also no biling or about the Swedish drink we have. Thanks, Honey Bear. And maybe something else. Also, for the note, all like beer what? tastes bitter to me, so that's why I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Power play? Seven minute? Maple, you closer? Drinking game? Onyx rum? That sounds bitter. So many drinks these days. Turing, give up! Oh, I got this, sweetie. This one is... Onyx rum is a dark rum with a rich taste and hints of apple. Can be enjoyed on the rocks or with coke. It's a middle-class drink. A pleasure... A pleasing higher-end rum. Is that bitter? Thank you, hun. You know what? Rum is bitter, right? Is rum better? Dude, you're gonna be stuck on this drink quest forever. I don't know drinks, okay? Just because I can drink doesn't mean I do drink, and also my taste buds are so shot that if it's not sweet, I will throw it out, okay? I haven't found... Wait, what do you mean rum is not bitter? How is it not bitter? It's rum. It's beer, it's liquor. What do you mean? Ah! Okay, what is bitter then? Is whiskey bitter? I don't know, fucking know what I love. Fucking, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me look up how to make that. Just make me anything. Turing, give up. Oh, I got this, sweetie. <laughs> This one is... Fucking, I don't know, it's a mint flavored... God damn it. Uh... Thanks, son. Maybe something else. Uh, subtle bitch. <laughs> I feel like a subtle bitch. What's in that? Me, bitch. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia. Turing. Oh, I got this, sweetie. <laughs> this one is... Whipped cream, vodka, strawberry, blah blah blah. That already sounds sweet. A stamming! <laughs> Don't realize we'll mess you up. It really sneaks up on you. Thanks, son. Not gonna lie, uh, love the name. Oh, well. Yo, I found so many sweet stuff. Why not I just stick with the girl? Or person? Wolf bite shot. I don't know. Uh, let me look up how to make that. Okay. Drinkionary. The open alcoholopedia says. Oh, I got this, sweetie. Still, <laughs> just give me a break. I don't know my drink. I'm not an alcoholic. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have a drinking problem. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll get a drinking problem if that's what it takes. Uh. <laughs> Uh, this one is. I don't know what's better. Wait, there's lemon in this, is it? Is that bitter? No, that's sour. Ah. Uh, Thanks, son. You know what? You two are making this very nice for me, but I want to oh, rip what? my brains out. Ah, uh, 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 punch. That sounds bitter. So many drinks these days. Turing, don't even. Tr oh my god. Oh, I got this, sweetie. This one is. I'm not even reading the ingredients anymore. Also, real quickly, if you try these ingredients in real life, would you add? Would they taste good? I don't normally go to bars or mixtures or I don't drink in general, so I don't actually know what it, what it's like. I tried drinking once when I was on a cruise, but that uh it wasn't that worth it. And at the end of the day I just stuck with soda. I had way too much soda. That's a bitter drink? How do you know? Thank you, hun. Sounds good. Here you go. Oh my god, thank fuck. Oh my god. 
Hey, bitch! Take your fucking drink and hit the road, Jack! By the way, I put up a backup, don't ask why. Oh. Uh. Oh. I didn't even spell alcohol right! <laughs> I'm a fucking failure! Ah! This single quest is breaking my mind. Holy shit. How do you spell alcohol, please? Someone just tell me. Just spell it out for me, please. I'm begging you. Did I spell it right? Cookie. Anyone watching? I'm a broken man. Because of liquor. And I'm not even an alcoholic. Don't drink, kids. That's the moral of the story. Okay, continue. Hey, you. Fuck off. Take it. Well, who uh, has good taste. You talk? Okay, here, you take this. I don't I'm fucking silver. care. What's a wet drink like yourself doing here? First off, chill, man. Se actually, no, I don't mind. But secondly, really? You're literally named after fate? I made a joke that you were a satyr. Ah, uh, probably the same thing as you. Well, thanks for the drink. The club is a little dead tonight, so it's nice to see a new face. You know anyone here? Uh, no. Just Tomcat. Tomcat? That flashy computer kid? They're always here with a group of other geeks. Okay. Not really my type. Too busy looking at their toys to see anyone around them. Cute outfits, though. Okay. You meeting them here? No. Not today. Flying solo, if you get me. Oh. Get me I in. I really do. Well, thanks for the drink, but I think I'm going to play the room a little more. Maybe we'll run into each other again. Hey, come back here, buddy. Where's my fucking taser? <laughs> I have something just for you, asshat. Eh, whatever. Anyway, actually, I just thought of something. Hey, you, dude, can you get in? Hey, give me a few minutes, okay? Never mind. She wants something sweet, right? Oh, that worked for n <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's why I'm so fucking pissed. I don't care anymore, the guy. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All that worked for nothing, and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> she wants something sweet, right? Oh, hi. Sorry, I don't really feel talking. Blah, blah, blah. She drinks at me. Fruit. Wait, she said something sweet before. Uh. Hey, good to see you back. What can I uh, like a drink, please? What are you having? Something fruity and something sweet. So orange, I guess. Remind me, what's in that? Okay. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Oh, I got this, sweetie. Turing, you're not useful. This one is. <laughs> Two part champagne, Jesus. One part orange flavored vodka. You know, orange soda, orange everything. Every thought, <laughs> every thought about what orange tastes like. It's this. This drink is what orange tastes like. That's all you can say to describe it. It tastes like orange. Yeah, sorry, Tarn, you're not needed. Rawr. Thank you, hun. I mean, that's fruity, right? Sounds good. Here you go. Okay. Please be nice to me. How did you know what I was planning on ordering? Well, at least keep me company while I drink it. Orange soda doesn't taste like orange to me. Yeah, well, I don't care anymore. It worked. Okay. Also, why do they have voice actors now? Okay, here you go. I'm Caitlin. Hey. My name's Ridley. It seems like you're all... 
I'm usually Ugh. a lot more sociable. I can't. Things have just been rough today. I bet my tongue. I don't know how to talk anymore. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, care tell me about it. My brother's going through gene therapy. He oh. still has to go in at least twice a week for health and maintenance. Okay. There are human revolution protesters outside the clinic, making it even harder for him. They're always outside, harassing anyone coming in. Yeah, they're assholes. I want to get rid of them. Yeah, fuck the human revolutions. It's exhausting. Not gonna lie, in retrospect, this sounds even more like uh, hybrids are supposed to be uh, a representation of trans people. In retrospect, thinking about it now, right? Right? Just me? Uh, probably just me. I'm sorry to hear, it's like that. I've been looking into the process for Ariko, blah, blah, They probably get bored and moved on soon. Well, yeah, but like, comfort. No one else lives around here, so I'm kind of all he's got. Oh, sorry to hear. But it's not a big deal. He'll be done with the main set of treatments in a few weeks, and we'll be free of them. Hopefully. I just feel bad for everyone else they're messing with. Yeah. Eh, he's not gonna have you. Sounds like you're in a home stretch, uh, one of the sacrifice for. We make for free speech. And no, he's lucky to have you. Aw, thanks a lot. I'm lucky to have him. Okay. So, there's plenty of people here. What made you want to talk with me? Curious. I know you had an empty glass. Isn't that against the rules here? No one should be bummed out at Stardust. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, geez. This really is my favorite drink. I have to wake up early for class, but I'm at the club, so I guess I'm already too deep in. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone needs a break now and then. Uh, yeah, actually, what are you studying? Graphic I don't know, I'm curious. Uh, focus on advertising. I even get to do some local stuff. Trying not to brag, but the Zone 3 ad on the bar is totally my doing. Cool. I have some really good client relationships locally, and there's so many interesting people too, like you. Aw, thank you. Hey, why is this woman way easier to approach than the other guy? Person. Fuck Sylvan. Hey, it's been really nice talking to you, but nope. I kind of feel like dancing now. Damn it! You... you want to come with me to the VIP area in the back? Holy shit! Chat, it worked! Chat, it worked! Chat, it worked! Yes! I have some friends who might be over there. We can hang out with them. They'll like you. Um, depends. Who's one of those friends? Are they an angry little orange right, cat? Let's go. Okay, so that worked. Thank Didn't you, Caitlin. I, to beat it. Uh, I got a friend now. <laughs> Save. Oh yeah, I really better. <sighs> All right, but it's on her if you can't stay out of trouble. I'll stay out of trouble. Uh. Uh, hey. Yeah. You have an incoming call priority marked as urgent. Oh. Well, hope you come by again. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Excellent. Who's called? Sorry for making up the call. I'm still getting used to the whole subterfuge thing you humans do. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, Turing, Turing. Who taught you to lie, Turing? Turing, no, you gotta say as a little baby angel. No, 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 no. Lying's bad. Helps us right now, but lying's bad. <laughs> I didn't teach him that. However, we can take another run at having a conversation with Jess. We have a dragon to slay. Onward. Yeah, I'm gonna save one because there's a good chance Jess is gonna just kick my ass out. Okay. B I P P. Yay. Okay, continue. Who are you? They look kind of like a frog. A skinny hybrid with uh, green skin and pointy ears. Oh, they're an elf. Tuck. The worst thing you can do to a hybrid is walk up and try to pet them. I didn't mean it. Yeah, that probably is very racist. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. Ah, uh, okay. I love vintage game experiences. Have you ever heard of Overblood? Uh, no. 
You know what I think is a cool name? What? Dogs Bower. Oh god, he's a D&D &D player. <laughs> uh, hi. This is exactly what I needed to get my mind off things. Okay. All right, let's dance. Okay, hey, Desi. And you're back. Yeah, I'm kind of like a mosquito. Cockroach. You know, as soon as I first saw you, I hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net, and I'd never have to see you ever again. Hey, come on. So, of course, I just got off the phone with Tomcat, practically begging me to help you out. So will you? You're so good at the long-term play thing, are you? Nope. Eh, you know me. I'd be like, just rush in and then get electrocuted to near death. I think we got off to a bad start here. Eh, uh, we've only met one time. At least I'm... Really? No, I don't want my ass kicked. Uh, yeah, let's restart. You mean you be don't good friends. Both feeding your mouth every time you talk to a hybrid? Surprising. And let's just get one thing straight here. She I'm likes me. Willing to talk to you because I owe and I think he. That. I don't know you shit. Okay, okay. So if you want my help, you got to do something for me. Fuck. Fine, what? If you got a problem with that, talk. My neighborhood, my help, my rules. Okay. I'm happy to... That uh, sounds fair. I need you to break up those human revolution protests. The ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. Jess, I know we got off to a bad start, but I'm really liking you right now. Yeah, sure, definitely. You know, I got a taser just for this. I'd like this handled with some stealth. Not that I expect you to know what discreet means. Okay, fine, I won't kill people. Either way, just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles, and this media circus is making their lives difficult. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. That means it's making my life difficult. Let the bastards go march somewhere else. Like Washington. Not here. What's there we in again? We're not in New York. Right? I don't know. I know it's not my business, but... Are you okay? You sound upset. <laughs> that sounds like quite the catastrophe. Oh my god, that's a. D uh, one of these days I'm gonna get my ass handed. Ridley's gonna get their ass handed up. Uh, but are you okay? I'm just great. I'm peachy. My clients get harassed and beaten on the daily. I don't have the time or money to help them all. And I have jackasses like you bothering me on my one day off. Sorry. So. You gonna braid my fur, and we can talk about all our problems and boys we like? I mean, I just want to know if you're okay. You want to talk? You're not telling me something. I'm sorry, Jess. I just want to help. You want to help? Yeah. Don't treat hybrids like animals for living out their lives. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Shit. All of this isn't even a choice for some of us. Yeah, I know. It's for medical reasons, right? You want to know what my deal is? You really want me to get sappy? Uh, sure? Skin cancer. I am very sorry for every joke I wanted to say. Stage three. My prognosis was so advanced that the doc said my bones were already lost. So I had to do something drastic. Completely restart my biology from scratch. You ever seen someone with a severe gene splice? From something freaky, like an insect? That's where hypertech began, you know. Where my therapy started. You can't imagine what it's like to have children cry from just looking at you. When people just see you and sprint the other direction. I had police following me everywhere I went. I lost my apartment. I lost my dignity. Eventually, I was lucky enough to qualify for the cute kitty cat cure to override the expression of the chitin. It changed my life. I have my job and purpose because of it. The fur doesn't scare the rest of the world too much to let me exist. Now I feel even more like an asshole for those cat jokes. 
Uh, better an otaku's fluffy wet dream than the monster from a horror VR drama from Japan. My mom still can't look at me straight. Not to get even mushier, but as a kid, she would sing me a song as she counted all the freckles on my face. She hasn't let that go. You know how your folks look at you when they figure out you finally had sex or did crash? It's like that. All the time. I'm sorry that happened to you. I really am. Oh, now you're sorry. You haven't even heard the worst part yet. The amount of gene therapy I underwent exceeded the limit that the Human Protection Act allows for procreation. Wait, what? What's the so yeah, The government freaking spayed me. If it all wasn't hilariously dark enough. First I'm too ugly to look at. Now I'm too screwed up to breathe. Saving my own life forfeited my right to be a person. That actually sounds really messed up in retrospect. Wait, no, actually, I think that actually does happen in real life. The Human Protection Act. Ha! Apparently protecting humans doesn't include me. Only genotypicals could live in this city and truly think they're the ones who need some protection the most. Yeah, I hate the script a lot, not gonna lie. In any case, I had some clean eggs frozen and we'll whip them out whenever I'm ready. It does happen in real life? A lot of trans people are forced to be ster- Oh. Oh. So the hybrid situation really is just a analytic, analytic, a terminology for transgenderism, huh? Damn. Except keeping that shit on ice costs. And my insurance decided to just not pay up due to the elective nature of my feline gene therapy. So I took those bastards to court and won. And I've been doing the same thing for everybody else ever since. So that's why you're a lawyer. So, there you go. I got cancer, super science fixed me up and left me a freak, and then the government sterilized me so I wouldn't go out and make more little monsters. Yeah, now I'm starting to understand why you're so angry. And everyone else gets to be the winner by default. Happy now? How's your savior complex doing? This getting you off? Uh, really? Now of all times? Uh, sorry. Really, you am. Tell me you would have treated me better if you had. It's never true. I need honesty more than sympathy. You know? Break up those protests, and then we'll talk. Ma'am, yes ma'am. Let's kill those bastards. All right, it sounds like we know what we need to do next. Let's go to Market Street and break up those protests for Jess. Yeah, let's. Okay. As Row rape up the Okay, let's do this. I think it's a combination of trans and disability allegory. No, allegory? Yeah, I think maybe, but I don't know. I feel like uh, people with prosthetics more represent the disabled than people with, uh, you know than the hybrids do. That's why I'm saying that. But, yeah. So, let's get rid of these assholes. Wait, why did I just tell Lexi to do Wait, no, Lexi can't do anything. Okay. Well, there are the protesters. Stay p Oh my... Ah. <sighs> I have to admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. The eh. protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. I don't care for the peaceful, they're annoying. 
and assholes. Revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. Turi! Turi! This is technically illegal. Restricting someone's, like, you know, right to medical care is illegal. It should be illegal. I get it, there are loopholes, but this should be illegal. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. I oh, don't know, these dumbasses seem like they would have a few. Still, I doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Okay. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution organization. Got it. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Okay. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, hey, a ROM. Uh, do you think we can hack into this thing and turn it non-peaceful? Okay, it's a unit and SFPD. I'm not spelling all that. Which country? Which state are we in? Philadelphia. It's here to keep the peace. Okay. Touch. Police bombs are just like regular cops. You don't touch. Talk. I am here to ensure the protests remain peaceful. Eh, whatever. Okay, let's look at this useless asshole. Another one of the blah blah blah. <gasps> oh my god. Ah. <sighs> It's gonna be one of those days, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> Aren't you tired of being told by the media that you aren't good enough as a regular human? Oh my god. This sounds like Twitter. <laughs> this sounds like Trump's side of Twitter. This sounds like Facebook, actually. Okay. What do you guys say for yourself, Junior? Aren't you sick of losing up? Oh my god. Oh my god, holy shit, this really so this really sounds like that side of the internet, if you get what I mean. What the hell? Okay, any info? Aren't you tired of being uh, you know, go somewhere? Oh my god. No one is... No one is forcing you to do it, and people do it for their own sake. Fuck off. Yeah, this really is starting to become a tra- <laughs> a transit. Uh, this is probably get, being a little too real for a lot of trans people watching this video right now, right? Oh my god. No, I don't wanna. Ooh, I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind. Let me explain to you right now why I'm so pissed right now. Because, do you see this guy? This is the protest leader. Do you guys understand why I'm so pissed? The guy who's starting, like, the equivalent of anti-trans stuff, being a nuisance to disabled people, is a 800-year-old dumbass! Holy shit. This is a little too real. This is all too real for me. Holy fuck, this is too real. Oh my god. So what you're telling me is the leader of this protest is an old fuck face who doesn't understand times are changing. Okay, yeah, this is a little too real. Let's talk to the bastard. Oh. Hey, uh, sorry about this. You shouldn't point that uh you shouldn't point that at a man. Uh at him, even if you disagree with his politics. You sure about that? Are you sure about that? I'm just saying, this asshole needs a taser in the balls. Just saying, he might be happier that way. Ah, oh, look at him. An animated older man leads a group of protesters. A man who can't even find his penis! <sighs> I'm beyond pissed, not gonna lie. I am like, really pissed that this... 
this is the man who's making everyone's life miserable. Because it's too real. Okay. Hello there. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? Shut the fuck up. Go kill yourself. I have pamphlets. Here, take one. Can I throw it out? Ah. Uh. Yeah, Yannick Fairlight said to introduce myself. I have one of his cards here. Go fuck yourself. Oh, yes. Yannick called and said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in? Yeah, your guy's doing it. Apparently. He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. It was your people, like, all over the but place. if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. Okay, can you start by, you know, breaking up these people? How can I help? We found human revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. Oh, and also, if any of you try to hurt Turing, I will kill you. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Eh, uh, probably they won't, because they want chaos, let's be real. They'll pretend to be a peaceful front, and then they'll have side groups that will actually do the violence. I'm pretty sure Chick-fil-A did exactly this with their homophobia, right? Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. Are you sure about that? We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. Sir, what are you doing right now? You're boycotting medical care and telling everyone inside and out that they are a mistake. How is what you're doing? Okay. 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 Okay, I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind. Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. But. But. The record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot headed teenager tends to be. Keeping it on the record, fuck you. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Yeah, I doubt that's gonna happen. I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Will you? Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, do I have to? Chat, can we just not listen to this guy anymore? Because I know for a fact I'm going to be pissed listening to him. Please, chat. Chat, please. I don't want to listen to the bigot. Fine. Yeah, go Question ahead. I answer for you. Yeah. Okay, what are your goals? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. Oh my god, they're Karens. Yeah, I want to stop the protest too. This is literally Karen talk right here. You know those anti-vaxxers? This is literally that type of talk. You are not winning me over, man. Shut the fuck up. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology. With nothing to ensure our safety. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. That's not what's happening. No, 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 no. You see. And return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. So you want to get rid of your hair then? Since it's clearly fake. You want to get rid of your glasses since you were born blind. So you shouldn't be seeing right now. You get your own argument. You get your point right now, right? You fucking dumbass. This world is Icarus. Flying too close to the sun. Uh, bah, 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 it's only bah, bah, bah. a matter of time before our 
just because we can doesn't mean we should. Shut the fuck up. Okay, yeah, I mean, I already know the answer, but might as well. Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. No, the atomic bomb was, you dumbass. It's playing God on the highest order. Oh, shut the fuck up. Your God doesn't love you. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well. Shut up. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrid. Yeah, no, that's wrong, and you know it, you dumbass. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. You literally just admitted that this helps people. You just admitted that what you're doing is trying to limit medical care for a specific group of individuals that you don't agree with. Oh my god, he really is a Republican. Oh god, this... Yeah, this is getting too real. Just gonna say it right now. Uh, whatever. If you ask me, Genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. Okay, buddy, might as well ask. So, there's a type of treatment out there that can save millions. But because it's so big and scary, you want to take it away from millions of, pe of those people because you're uncomfortable? Okay, 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 okay. Brian, Brian, go, go into a ho home or something. You're clearly too old, man. No one likes you. You're alone. Your wife probably cheated on you with one of these people. One of the genus people. I get it. You're angry. You're confused. You're upset. Shut up and get lost. However, we must take a stand against. Shut up! Just shut up! Just shut the fuck up. Okay. No, I'm done. That's all I have for you. Shut up. I don't want to know anymore. Fuck you. Shut up. Huh? What's that? That was not as enlightening as I'd hoped it would be. You're telling me, Turing. Turing, let's never talk to these people again. Still, it was a statistical anomaly that we encountered Fairlight in the first place. Yeah, no, that was rigged. Uh, okay, let me just cool off a little bit real quickly, just... <sighs> Where's my coffee? Yeah, no, Fairlight literally staged it, staged it for us to be there. I'm pretty sure he somehow electrocuted us, or like, hired someone to electrocute us. I think it was your sister that attacked us. I don't know why, I just have this weird theory that he actually has your sister and is using her. Just saying. And yeah, Fairlight definitely staged it. I do think Fairlight has connections to the human revolutions. Think about it, if everyone is so angry and disgruntled with Parallax, in their current state for not doing anything about the specific groups, he can use that to his advantage by disposing of the human revolutions. Also, in real life, it has been confirmed that a lot of, like, you know, uh, people who are literally destroying the planet have hired, like, these pro-Earth life people, whatever they call it, uh, you know, climate combatants to look bad on purpose so that people would side with like big like big oil companies i think that's what's gonna happen and i think that's what his plan is and the fact that this is a little this all is too real is making me enjoy this game less and fucking less just saying anyways let's get rid of those protesters it was vanishingly unlikely that such a coincidence would lead to finding hayden yeah i mean they're literally a bunch of dumbasses. What makes you think that, uh, you know, they would have Hayden? Do you think, uh, what do you think about what he said? Who? Only thing. Okay, the only thing that overcomes hard luck is hard work, Turing. Standing here jawing isn't gonna go find him. Uh, let's be poetic. Ah, Harry Golden. How fitting to use a quote from a newspaper publisher. And I agree with the sentiment. Yeah, you're not the only fucker who has, like, memories in the databank. More leads will find us, should we seek them out. Let's yeah. keep moving. Yeah. Let's do it, sorry. And also, let's get rid of these assholes. 
Don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Okay. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. I'm sure we will, too. Okay. First off, uh, I forgot to check everything. Genus is one of the leading gene therapy clinics in the city. Gene therapy is a long and uncomfortable process. I don't care. If you'd like to look into splicing for yourself, let's save that for after our investigations. Okay. Wait, what's over here? What's this? It's a wave shelter for uh, Numi riders. Uh, so Numi riders can get out of the rain. Rain, huh? What is the weather looking like? Next bus, 66 minutes. Cat. Moderately... <laughs> Hello there. A moderately large tabby cat basks in its own self-satisfaction. Pet, pet, pet. Yes, seems very satisfied about being a cat. <laughs> Sir, do you know you're a cat? Yes. Pet cat. The kitty starts to sway its tail as you stroke it. Does that mean it's happy? Actually, yeah, chat, real quickly. What is the language of cats? Is a tail wagging good or bad? I don't know, actually. Because sometimes my cat will just randomly start biting me, whether its tail is wagging or not. Fuck if I know. You know what? Fair enough. Talk to cat. Aww. Aww, expert meow. Uh, cats are amazing. I love dogs more, though, personally. Is that a fucking hassy? Oh god, the ads are coming up. It's a hassy bar. All drinks are made with hassy and an, e an energy drink that supposedly has recovered properties. Would you guys like... What? Why? You can't buy a hassy from the side. You have to go inside the hassy bar or find a hassy machine. Hmm. What's this? Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM model 6703, if I am not mistaken. Wait, climate control? Are you telling me this future is so advanced that we literally just control the climate? Holy shit! Not gonna lie, I feel like at this rate we need to figure out how to do that. Apparently it is owned by the Hassi Bar based on this identification marker. Oh! Touch. This kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi Bar. Okay, I get it. Going to Hassi. Fine, I'll get a Hassi drink, you fucker. Hassi Holding just released a new Hassi Hot Cup. A distinct, a disgusting combination of Hot Cup instant, instant ramen and Hassi Hot. What is Hassi? Is Hassi chocolate? Touch. No ramen in that. Is that instant? Try again. Oh, try inside. You can't make an order from out here. Go to the fucking speaker. Talk. Let's not. Two's company. Three's a cloud. Hey, because there's a cloud in his head. I don't know. Look at door. Hassy Bar has a festive uh, rhythm on it, whatever it is. I can't talk for some reason, sorry about that. Oh, okay. Duck game. Look. This is the most, uh... Picturesque? Picturesque? Picturesque Christmas tree imaginable. Its branches are perfectly spaced. Every decoration is placed metallically. Metallically. Methuckily. Nimbus. It's a compute table. Good for playing games and reading feeds while sipping a hassy. Look at bench. Spotless, as expected from hyper hydrophobic suites. No time to rest anymore, sleepyhead. We have our mission. Let's Oh, it's pronounced picturesque. Yeah, I'm illiterate. <laughs> there are rumors that plants here are actually given hassy, not water. What is hassy? Because it sounds like it's co chocolate or coffee. But then you can put it in ramen, so is it water? 
You tap on a glass, the plant doesn't seem to notice. Okay. The me um? Even the plant seems to want you to buy some medicine. It's an energy drink, is it? I don't know. See? Because it looks like coffee from this uh, advertisement. Also, hey there, princess. Look at Hassie, a bar owner. She seems bored since there's a Ron that handles all the ordering. There's not much for her to do right now. Is she... Does she technically work here then? Eh, uh, talk. Aw, that is the most adorable little Rom. Aw, thank you. He's what kind cute. Of is it? Where did you get it? Uh... It's so moe. Chat, I just lost a, lo a year of my life after that. Uh, they were a custom motto. I'm not sure they were a gift. Uh, the mouthy kind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of the newer VIs can be pretty chatty. <laughs> Charing will remember that. You could always get a different personality profile for him. Uh, it probably cost you a few hundred credits. Uh, no, I think he's fine. Anyway, what can I get you? Uh, a drink? Uh, maybe some information? A drink I can do, and I guess I have some time to talk. Okay. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Yeah, they're assholes. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. Oh. Man, that sucks, actually. So, what do you want to know? I guess everything, like the getup. Also, what is Hassy? Uh, tell me about yourself. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Okay. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan, and bought this place. Okay. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. Relatable. <laughs> my priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls, in that order. Oh yeah, oh that explains the ghetto. So they're a cosplayer. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. What? Uh, you don't seem pleased about the human revolution. I mean, who would? Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Thank you, I agree, totally. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. Yeah, exactly! Ugh. <sighs> Thank you. Finally, so someone says it. voting appropriately? Yeah. Finally, if someone... I have to unclog one more toilet because of an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind! Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, why would they come after you? Isn't it obvious? That's a robot arm. Tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. Oh. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. First off, sorry about that. Secondly, neural links? If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. Yeah, they're bigots. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket powered fist. What more do they want? Wait, I'm sorry, hold up. You got a what now? Is that your common control outside? Uh, actually, first... Yeah, let's go talk about anime. Sorry. Kotaku speak. <sighs> I just mean he's really cute and lovable. And you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? Eh, uh, not until you get to know him. <laughs> a lot of Fucking weep. Probably because I own the place. Shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. I'm pretty sure there's actually a Starbucks that I once went to that was exactly like this. <laughs> Wait, no, there's a Dango. Otaku, as in Japanese cartoons? Oh, hey, what'd you look at that? Ridley's not a weeaboo. Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Anime is dead in the future. Pass it on, chat. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? Oof. 
Who calls the Japanese cartoons the Mao? Uh, people who never watch anime, I guess. I don't know. Actually, weirdly enough, don't know people who don't watch anime. Wait. Oh, no. Am I an otaku chat? Please no, I don't want to be an otaku, man. I got I, I got things to do. Even non-weeps call it anime. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know, like, Ridley spends all their time in their, in their place trying to get food. I mean, money for food. I don't think they have the time to actually watch stuff. I don't think they have hobbies. I've been to Tokyo twice already. Good for you, weep. The old otaku resist the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Are you talking about the Saishi? Oh, sorry. The Saiba Shibito. The Cyber Day. The what now? In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, when did this game come out? Because did they predict fucking COVID? Did they? Oh, yeah, I guess it all sounds a bit like Sora Online, but like the 21st century. For some reason, everyone just had to stay inside. I wonder why. Fucking Corona. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this does sound a bit like the plot of Sword Art Online ret in retrospect, huh? But aren't we not that far off from doing that? I don't know, this sounds a little too real. Like, you know, like uh, everyone had to stay inside for wait. Be like, everyone had to stay inside for a real long time because of a certain something, and then we got really into VR. I'm just saying, isn't that literally what happened? Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms. They were refusing to leave their heads. Damn, COVID hit us all rough, huh? But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. Oh. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. Uh. Okay. That's cool, I guess. But, like, uh. Let's not just. Actually, no, I don't like Japan. Yeah, let's delete it. But enough babbling. Okay. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh, or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. Is it less? Especially for you. Is it better than real Japan? It's like those Minecraft 1-1 recreations. You know what, actually, I always wanted to do that, but like, I don't know how to get access to those. I really want to get access to, like, the Minecraft Library of History. I, but I don't know how people get there, you get what I mean? I don't know, one day I'll figure it out. Okay. Not gonna lie though, if it's less racist than actual Japan, I totally go there. <laughs> go over there and still be called like a dog or something. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to ask, uh, is that your climate control ROM outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassie Holdings. Oh, right. We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. Oh, nice. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. Oh. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Really now? Hey, Chad, I have an idea. Let's just rain fucking hail onto those protesters, huh? I don't know, seems reasonable to me. Would you mind if I take a first spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. Yeah, that would have been too easy. I would need to see some serious
his credentials before I let you mess with it. Credentials, huh? You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Otherwise, no touching. Okay, I think that's everything for right okay. now. So you want uh, credentials, huh? Well, I have my credentials right here. Here, have a business card. <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> I just want to see what ha happens. I know I'm probably just, you know, nothing's gonna happen. Hassy. Here, here's my credentials. Here, have a business card. No, gun. This is a place of hassy, not violence! Here you go. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. Super rich guy? Used to own System 1? Oh. Why does everyone know him but me? Why are you giving me his card? I work for him. Oh yeah, yeah, I work for him. He's looking to buy a clavicle control ROM like yours. Yes. Yes, good job, sorry. <laughs> Very convincing. Yeah, exactly. That's why we wanted to see it before. I need a close look at it to make sure it will suit his purposes. Uh yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess you can take it deep. Don't bust it, though. Oh, don't worry about it. We're gonna break it, aren't we? I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Okay. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Okay, thank you. Uh, Stekimaz, whatever they say in Japan. I don't know. Otaku talk, blah, 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 anime now, or whatever. Thank you. Bye. Fucking weep trash. <laughs> okay. A cab. I don't know, fuck all cops. All humans are bad? No, I don't have anything for the for the human revolution. Okay. Heck you! Wait, what does this sound like? A vibrant mix of weather sounds and natural ambience fills your ears. I love these headphones. <laughs> Taser! You shouldn't attack the poor weather rom. Okay, use the weather rom. Mm, this rom has multiple different climate control settings. Hey, Turing, make it hail. Hail bricks on them. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Okay. Should I switch it to snow mode? Yeah. Hey, real quickly though, before we do anything, just out of curiosity, you think the world would be better if we had tech like this in real life? I don't know, I feel like we could easily abuse it. You get what I mean? Yeah, turn this baby on. Oh god, I think it's busted. Oh, it works. It's... snowing? Okay, people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Fuck you. Get lost. We did it! <laughs> Snow mode deactivated. Excellent work! Yay! We got rid of them! Doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest. We at least accomplished our goal peacefully. Nah, it's really good. Trust me, Turing. It's way better than uh, what I was planning on doing. But to be fair, I still think they deserve it. Huh? And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Yeah, good. Uh, a cap turning. Uh, who are they? Hmm. Yeah, you know. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? 
Yeah, I already noticed them. I was waiting for you, goddammit. You're Casual blind. Clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Wait a minute. Graffiti? Oh fuck, it was a human revolution! Those could be our suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. I mean, it's a long shot, but yeah! Meh. Wouldn't hurt to check it out. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. Yeah. They may even point us to the true culprits. Yeah. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, maybe we can catch them. Okay. Motherfucker! Get over here! Taser! Where's my taser? Oh. We'll never catch them on foot. Are we gonna have to car chase? Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Ah, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. Oh no. Did we just we'll lose them? Be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Oh yeah, Tomcat's a hacker. Yeah, sure, totally. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Oh, Tomcat's on binary. Sorry for calling them a sheep before. Okay, good idea. Ring them up. Excellent. Yo, I have a non-binary hacker on my side too, actually. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. Sup? How's the search for the data cache going? Uh, not good. Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. I mean, do you really think these kids know where the? No, oh, whatever. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived, and they're getting away. Yeah. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <sighs> no can do, little guy. Why not? The on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Damn it. Unless. Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Okay, what's up? Alright! I went faster than spit on a skillet. Okay. Yeah, I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the back door I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Wait. Oh shit. What? What's wrong? They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Uh, yeah, what's a VI? Virtual intelligence. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive, and definitely not sapient. Okay. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers if you're willing to pay for a good one. I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Okay. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Okay. Just push on the map and loading up on Turin's face. Sorry, okay. <laughs> Just bit slap Turin. Okay. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. Over here? You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. Okay. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. Got it. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. 
Okay. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go around. Got it. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this V off from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this little trick is over. Okay. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. Right. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. We only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. Got it. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to shortwire the auto cab. Hey, yo, Chad, I'm gonna do this one try. Be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. Right. What do you think our next move should be? Hear me out. We could, we could do it this way. No, but I feel like that's an obvious move. Let's block the north. Hear me out. Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now. I got this. Don't let those punks escape and don't trap them anywhere that's not here. Got it. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead and we should be able to get them. Wait, so I can like uh, press like one of this and then one of this over here? Okay. Got it? Got it. Obviously these two. Holy shit, it worked! Let's fucking go! First try, baby! Stop train! Taxi! Damn, Turin, you want my taser? The fuck is on your head, kid? Bro, you got a whole tr old pyramid, upside down pyramid embedded in you. Bro, are you bleeding? Also, hey, nerdy. Uh, can I save? Bye. Who do you think you're messing with, huh? I don't know. A kid? You ain't got nothing on us. And if you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. I got a taser, dumbass. We could share news of this encounter with Lexi before things get out of hand. Nah, I'll... These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? Eh, uh, they're just kids. It'd be smart to grill them, see what they know. We might not get all the answers, don't forget. Lexi even admitted there's already signs of corruption happening. So she might not be able to even like interrogate them and we might lose them forever. So it's better if we just talk to them. We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. Yeah, say you listen to your friend. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Eh, debatable. Um, right! We ain't got nothing to hide! Uh... What's the spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. Sure. 
These are the tools of our trade. Sure. Press X to fucking doubt. These are all above board and legal. You know, when you have to say that, that means that something's going on, right? We just got done making a piece for a client. Where? That's right. We're artists. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you guys look like artists, actually, sadly enough. Uh... Okay, what about this? Show me where you just recently did your art, and we can let you go, huh? What about that? Punk? What's in the bag? You a cop? I could be. Cause if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag. <laughs> that makes it even more suspicious, rookie. Why'd you run? Running? Who was I running from? You calling me a coward? You literally ran the man you saw with. You do realize I was the- whatever. Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. Yeah, Ma a little. Er, right. We just got places to get to, and gotta go fast. You're holding us up. Motherfucker just w did a Sonic. <laughs> gotta go fast! I no, I love vandalism. I'm above the law. I'm Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Well, then is that why he's blue? Eh, this is ridiculous. Enough! Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance. Turing, kill them. <laughs> I've matched the hues of those paints and the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Wait, really? These punks are there? Damn. Yeah, actually, that makes some sense, actually. Now tell us what you were doing there, and why you stole Hayden's data cache. We got a taser. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why, I oughta... Chad, I think they're onto us. Maybe we just answer their questions so they don't go to the cops? Your name's Chad? Okay. <laughs> kid, kid, don't come at me with your name being fucking Chad of all things. You were... <laughs> Bro, your mom didn't want you, did she? Your daddy probably didn't either. Damn it, Oliver! I told you I'm Starfucker now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the kids these days, man. Oh, fuck. So that's part of all, I could totally see this being a real situation. Uh, Chad, you should've just stuck with Chad, man. Just sh Chad, Chad fucker? No. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna fuck with me? I'm Starfucker! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a dumbass name! My boy, my boy, you could've gone for anything. If you want your, to be respected on the streets, you gotta have a name that at least demands respect. Steel Samurai, Iron Shogun, fucking, uh, Gun Blazing Komodo, or something, uh, like Komodo Dragon, Komodo Dragon even, Snake, Green Viper, any of these would have been a better fucking name, and you chose Starfucker? Oh, my baby boy, I'm, I'm not gonna go to the cops, but like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, is that the first legit swear this game has provided so far? Like, everyone else is like being all like, drats, damn it, crud. This is like the first time I heard fuck. <laughs> damn, motherfucker. Okay. You know what, fuck it. You know what, you earn my respect now. Your name is now Starfucker. Congratulations. You guys gay? <laughs> I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Of course you guys are with the human revolutions. Kids. Because your dad. What? Don't talk about my dad. Is your 
is your dad is your dad a hybrid or is your dad like with the human robot is your dad fucking brian i don't know fine whatever we'll answer your friggin questions your name is starfucker and you'll still say frickin okay okay starfucker might as well ask why attack hayden's apartment no big reason. Seems like a big fucking reason. You shattered windows. You destroyed his TV. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? I mean, yeah. We heard a rumor his place was empty. Who's gonna pass up a sweet target like that? Anyone who doesn't want to go behind bars? What if Parallax themselves were there? You, do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, Starfucker? Starfucker9000? <laughs> Wait, that's another thing I just noticed about his name. His fucking name is a gamer tag! Oh my god, I can't take this boy seriously even if he had a gun to my head. <laughs> I'd laugh myself to death. Uh, kids these days, they really need to learn. We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy rom over there. Hey, first off, fuck you. Secondly, you do need it. Kid has zero IQ. Uh, do you know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? Kidnapped? He's been kidnapped? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> well, actually, no, it should probably be alerted by now. Wait, hold up. You didn't even know he was kidnapped? The cops don't even know he's kidnapped. Oh, fuck. I just realized that. No one knows that he's truly missing. Damn. Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there. Okay. Okay, where's the day cash? Why did you take it? I told you we didn't steal nothing. Sure. Be quiet, Chad. You don't want to go to Juvie. Hmm? Here, you can have it. You guys had it! Hey, we got it! Hey, well, thanks for giving it back. Yay! Say out trouble, you're eh. Maybe you should give up vandalizing people's homes. You're lucky we don't call the cop. Eh Yeah, some motivation. Say out trouble. You're good kids. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. Okay. We hope you find that Hayden guy. And we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. Well, at least you guys learned. Grow up. All right, let's go catch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? Sure. Whatever you want. They're gay. Uh. Uh. That's not right. Oh god, that fucking otaku's gonna kill me. Snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Oh. Hey, folks. Hey. Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. Perfect. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax network. That should help our hunt. Right. Did you get the data cache? Actually, yeah. Yes, those punks happen to have it. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. Okay. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're going to be moving their logs from one secure server to another. Okay. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. Okay. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. Right. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Uh. Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. Don't bug it. It already seems to be in a stormy mood. Hey. 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 Break my rock. Now I can't get it to stop snowing. 
sorry. Those protesters are gone, but I'm still not gonna have any customers with it freezing like this. I mean, you never know. Ha! Ah. This hassy hot cup is the perfect thing to warm me up. I just helped you, fucker. Oh, hey! Snow out of nowhere? I guess I'll wait it out in here. Weren't you just at Starlight? Huh. Damn. Wow. Look at it out there. So magical. Damn. Uh, don't think I've forgiven you, you dingus. I mean, it worked out in the end, so you can't be that bad. Get some hassy hot cups going. Yay. Well, all's well that ends well. Right? Yeah, exactly. I'll check the mesh for common issues with the mode selector on the 6703 ROM unit and forward the solutions to the Hassy Bar owner. Okay. Yeah, that's the best we could provide. I'm certain she'll be able to get it turned off after the customer rush. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Let's first go back home. I want to talk to the plant. Hey, shit, look at it. It's actually really growing, right? Looks like a genuine tree. Is that supposed to look? You're a good little pet. Mm, with more of that, we'll surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. Hey, little plant, nice place. Didn't mean to give you a drinking problem. Glad to see you're healthier. Yeah, uh, I think that's, uh... I don't know. Should we go check on Lexi real quickly? Nah. Let's go, club. Okay. Clubbing. Okay. Golden. Ah, we're getting close to calling it quits, but hey, let's just real quick. Welcome to Stardust. Thank you. Hey. There's Majid. We should leave this data cache with him first, like Tomcat asked. Oh yeah, sure. There you go. Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. No problem. Please don't lose it. I won't pester you about what it is. Oh, thanks. You know things are always very hush hush with Tomcat. Okay. I'll make sure they get it later today. Excellent. Thank you. Alf. How sad would it be if, like, uh, it turns out that Tomcat is the main villain? Man, that would suck. Hey, who are you? Sorry, but I'm pretty wrapped up in something important. Don't have time to talk. Oh, okay. Hey, can we go through? You again? All right, I'll let you in. But you better stay out of trouble. Okay. Hey, everyone. I'm back. Hey, Jess. Talk. Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? Yeah! All right, then. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Yay! Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. Eh, uh, hopefully. I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in. But if anything happens, you broke in. Okay, okay, fair this enough. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. Okay. Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. Hey, I think we're now somewhat friends with Jess. Okay. Nice knowing y'all. Let's talk to Lexi real quickly. I don't know, see if there's any new dialogue. 
Welcome to the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, citizen. Also, as a just in case, just to see, you know, like maybe we, we go there. Today. Uh, looking uh, for Detective Lexi Rivers. Tell her it's uh, me. A few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Okay. Thank you for your patience, citizen. No problem. Ah, I'm Detective back. Detective Rivers will be here shortly to speak to you. Please have a seat. Was there something else you needed? Uh, just checking and seeing if you Uh, yeah. How's it going? Huh. It's not going much of anywhere. Oh. I can't even start an official investigation, so my options are limited here. I've been reviewing traffic cam footage for hours, just trying to get a glimpse of whoever assaulted Hayden. Okay. My superiors aren't out and out grounding me, so there's that. But they still aren't giving me any more resources to work with. That means no extra manpower, no special tech support, nada. Oh. I'm assuming it's their way of appeasing the corporate overlords without actually being a bunch of corrupt pigs, but hey, I like a challenge. Okay. Just me in the streets is what I'm used to anyway. Plus, now I have you two. We are happy to assist in any way possible, Detective Rivers. We are both at your command. How about you try not to get shot at, for starters? Fair enough. The track record isn't great on that one so far. Sorry. Right. Uh, thanks for talking to me, Lexi. You be sure to come back if you find something I can use. Okay. Let's do this. Dog path. What is that symbol? This is the place Tomcat said we should head to. Okay. Unassuming and quiet. Right. I'll be honest. I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. It doesn't seem that bad, actually. I uh, like my abuela lived in an area like this, and it was actually kind of nice. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. Well, that's because cops don't care about this area. That's why crime is high. If cops did care, or if cops did their job, without, you know, being racist pigs, you know, this place would probably be heaven. Don't be worried about getting mugged. Let's hope she sticks to her half of the bargain. I'm sure she will. Good to see your self-preservation routine's working over time. Don't be worried. I can't help it. Eh, I've no, I've noticed. Stealing a rom is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreants out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. Yeah. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Though, I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. As far as we know. That I know of, anyway. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Well. Place still looks nice, though, if you ask me. Need some dusting at best. Eh. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have many jokes about, uh, the. You know. Of, uh. These types of places. I don't know. What would you call this place? No, not a ghetto. What's the term? I don't know. Actually, no, hold up. Yeah, let's call it quits for today. I'm getting 